Hey y'all, welcome back to another Christmas Clean and Decorate video. This is a part three of my Christmas Clean and Decorate series. Today I am decking out our kitchen and our dining room for Christmas. I actually filmed this a few days before and did not like how any of it turned out. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know. So I went on Pinterest, got some new inspo pics, went shopping for a few more decor pieces, and now I'm loving how our kitchen turned out. I have posted my bedroom and living room Christmas decorate on my channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. I'll have those videos linked below in my description box. This coming Wednesday will be the Christmas porch decorate. I absolutely love this time of the year. It makes everything feel so cozy. I hope this video brings you plenty of Christmas inspiration, but let's go ahead and get started. First thing in the kitchen, I'm going to start by adding some garland to the top of our cabinets. This is the same garland from Walmart that I used in our bedroom and our living room. They do not come with any lights, but I actually ordered some lights from Amazon that were coming in this day, and I'll share how that turned out at the end of the video. But I needed some lights with a remote so that I didn't have to climb on the counters just to turn the lights on. I'm going to add all the garland to the tops of the cabinets, clean off the counters, and then share an awesome cleaning product if you have a glass stove before we get started on decorating.
since we have gotten our new stove, I had no idea how to clean it, what to clean it with. We were at our friend's house for dinner one night and I noticed that they had a glass stove. So I kind of just asked them what they use. And there's a kit that she got from Walmart. I'm sure you could order it from the brand directly or Amazon, but it is Wyman Cooktop Cleaning Kit, if I'm saying that right. It includes a small tube of cleaner, a scrub brush, and a scraper that's 100% safe on your glass top stove. I was so nervous about scratching our glass stove because our stove is brand new, but she tried it on hers, let me try it out, and I absolutely loved it. It gets your stove clean so well. You spread out the cleaner, use a scrub brush with that, let that sit for a few minutes, and then use a scraper and it gets everything off. The kit has the products that you need. They're all in the box for you. It works so, so good. No, this video is not sponsored by any means. I will have that full kit linked below in my description box in case you guys want to check it out. Moving on to decorating the countertops, which is always the fun part. I added some cutting boards to this side. I love using cutting boards in my kitchen because with our green countertops, I feel like it just breaks everything up. It makes everything look a lot better. I added this frame from Walmart, a nutcracker next to it that I spray painted it. And I had a lot of garland left over from the tops of the cabinets. So I just added a little bit of the garland to the top of this frame. And I felt like that just gave it a little bit more of a cozy Christmas touch. I got this soap stand from Amazon. It is black and it is supposed to absorb water, so I hope it lasts long. Um, just added a little tree that I got from Walmart right next to it just for a little small decor piece. Adding another cutting board next to the ice maker. If you don't have an ice maker that makes nugget ice, you guys really need to get one because I love eating my nugget ice. It's just oh it's amazing but adding this lamp Cameron loves the lamp in the mornings for work since it's super dark in the house in the morning so he just cuts the lamp on added a little Christmas decorative tree from Target and a snowman and a glass church with a cross on it and just keeping it super simple in the kitchen I love all of the Christmas things but I also love my home to feel simple and not cluttered so I just added a little bit to the island and then another cutting board over here with the Mary sign and a gold Christmas tree.
If you've been around and followed my channel for a while, you know that I've had this black vase sitting empty on my dining room table forever, it seems like. So I got these stems off of Amazon and I love how they look. They are a bit more on the light green side and not the dark Christmas green, which I did not realize that when I bought them, of course. But I still think they looked pretty good sitting on the table, so that looks a lot better with something in the vase. Moving on to this black entryway table that I purchased off of Amazon when we moved into this house. I love it. Everything that I get off Amazon, I'm an Amazon gal. Added a red Christmas blanket just to give a pop of color to this basket. I believe I got that blanket from Marshalls or TJ Maxx last year. I found this sign at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was so pretty and gorgeous and was just a cute Christmas picture frame going to add a reindeer that I got from Marshalls and a little decorative bowl with some brown and gold pine cones. It was a bit later in the evening when the lights got delivered for the garland on the top of our cabinets. So I went ahead and got all of that set up. I got a set of four for $16, which is actually a really good deal because the fairy lights that I got from Walmart were $7 a piece. These are the warm white lights with a remote. You can use these lights indoor and outdoor. They are waterproof and snowproof with eight modes of twinkle lights. On the remote, you have a lot of different options. You can set a timer, dim the lights, make them fully bright. These lights are so beautiful and were perfect for the top garland.
absolutely love how our kitchen turned out this year. I included some clips of the fairy lights with the lights on and with the lights off. I did not have enough fairy lights to add to the garland that's on our window, so I may add some in the future, but that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye!